The Traveling Together Journal presents How to Build a Fridge Slide. All right, I'm going to show you how to build a slider for a 12 volt fridge. I'm building one for my Snowmaster 66 liter double door fridge freezer unit. I purchased uh, some heavy duty drawer sliders. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but it's a uh, Full Terror brand is what we ended up getting. It's a 32 inch slider. Um, it's a locking unit, so when you slide it out, it locks in place, and then you can slide it back in. Um, then I picked up some two and a half inch angle iron from my local steel supplier. So I've built the uh, slider for one side of the fridge. Um, this is going to be our slider for the other side. Um, but you can see I just used the two and a half inch angle iron to mount it to the bed of the truck on this side. And then this piece over here is just bolted on to the slider. And if we hit our little unlock lever here, it slides out. And it's a double slider, so you get the full length, uh, 32 inches moves that far. And uh, the fridge is just going to sit right on here. Um, our Snowmaster fridge has little rubber feet on the bottom. Um, which I measured, and they're about two inches wide, so they should sit right on that rail fine. And then we'll just kind of strap it down. So far it's looking pretty good, and I just got to build a mirror version on the other side. Our first step is to drill the holes through the mounting bracket that will attach the fridge slide to the truck bed. Think ahead about where these holes will be located, so that you aren't putting them directly above the gas tank or spare tire mount where you won't be able to access them. Next, we will attach the drawer slide to the mounting bracket. Clamp the drawer slide onto the angle iron and make sure that it is mounted flush and level. Now operate the drawer slide to align the access holes with the mounting holes in the drawer slide. Use a felt tip marker to indicate where each of the mounting holes is on the angle iron. Remove the drawer slide and drill out each of the holes. Next we will build the fridge bracket where the fridge will actually sit. Attach your drawer slide to the truck bed and then use clamps to hold the fridge bracket in place. Mark where the mounting holes are in your drawer slide on the fridge bracket. Remove the bracket, drill out the holes, and then bolt it all back together. The result should look something like this. Now we just need to load in the fridge and see how it works. Ooh! Yeah! Locked out. Let's see how these things. Obviously, this one should work, right? Yeah. Let's see. The fridge slide was working well in that configuration but I was a little bit worried about longevity and durability. So I trimmed down a piece of one inch angle iron I had laying around and welded it in place here as a cross beam. It helped reduce some of the flex from the drawer sliders. Thanks for watching my fridge slide build video. I'm happy to say that after six months of continuous use, the fridge slide does still work. I would note, however, that the locking mechanism on the drawer sliders failed within the first week. So if anybody out there has some information to share with us about a brand or model that has a stronger locking mechanism, please leave it in the comments down below. Overall, however, I am still happy with the builds. It was a lot cheaper than purchasing a prefabricated model, and since it's custom, it takes up a lot less space in my rig.